What a slake YouTube, this is Juan from the Gamers Ministry, and today is February 19th, 2012, and the footage that we're watching was recorded exactly a month ago, on January 19th, 2012. We're today going to play Castle Crashers, developed by Tom Fulp and Dan Paladin as lead designers. You might, you may know Tom Fulp from Newgrounds, he's the, him and his brother were the creators of that popular web website. And today we're going to be playing a game that Tom Fold developed along with his friend. And it's a really good game. It's a really, really fun game. And I'm not going to be playing it by myself. It's going to be four-player co-op mayhem with three people from my church, two students of mine, and a brother of one of the students. So that is me, the PR, El Pier. That stands for the Puerto Rican Let's Player. I originally thought long ago that's how I was going to name my YouTube channel, but... I guess not, it didn't turn out that way. God had other plans. But uh, today is joining me, Misael, who's about 12 years old. Beast, his brother, who's is uh, yes, and Jose. Uh, me and Jose, we truth be told, we played this game before. We played it a long time ago, and we beating, we beat the game. Ever since then, I always call Jose, you my boy, Blue. I don't know if you ever saw that movie that Will Ferrell start, start in old school, yes. And there was this character named Blue. Well, ever since then, so I always call Jose, you my boy, Blue! And here we go. So as the game starts, you'll notice that uh, Knight comes in and he apparently was beaten up. So let's see what's going on. So apparently we have this black looking mage that wanted this giant jewel or some diamond or some sort. And I'm, I'm guessing he has some purpose with it or some needs, but we're on our way to recover it because they are attacking our castle, our village. And I'm quite surprised that they made it this far to the throne room without nobody realizing until the very last second. Makes you think, where are all the rest of the knights and everybody else? But here we are. And first off, so let me tell you the rules of this game. When we when we played this game, we decided to be every man for himself. Uh, whoever, you know, as you, it's everybody's gonna go for the jewel, everybody's gonna go for the money. Oh wait, they, the chicks, they took our princesses. <laughs> Look at that one, the purple hair just being, her face being dragged over the floor. The other one had pretty eyes though. But anyway, so yeah, everyone. The, the rules of this game is every man for himself. Uh, for some reason, I start out with a lot of gold. You'll see under the PRL here that I have like 156 uh, gold. And we're even though even though I started with a lot of money, maybe because probably the money from my other playthrough transferred. Um, I'm I'm still gonna need, I'm still gonna go for the money. Where everybody's like you know everybody every man for himself. We'll help each other out. Uh, in case if somebody collapses, faints, but in any in, in any case, we're just simply, you know, if you see money, you go for it. You see food, you go for it. And here we are, and we are at the first shop of the, uh, the shop of the game. <laughs> and Jose went from zero gold to 14 gold. He's a sneaky little guy. But yeah, so here we are, and now potions are really good in multiplayer because they, as soon as you collapse, they automatically revive you and, and fill up your health. Whereas if you're playing single player mode, you have to drink them as your health gets low. And if you have, and in multiplayer, if you have no more health and you collapse, then, and you don't have any potions, then somebody else has to come in and give you like CPR or chest presses. And here we are in the arena. And the reason why me and Jose say, okay, let's go take them to arena and with Misael and Isaias or Beast was because I wanted them. Oh yeah, look at me beasting them. Yeah, air juggle for the win. The reason was because we wanted them, to, because since they haven't played the game before, they didn't know what to expect. And now they know. <clears throat> I mean, eventually, when, once we fight bosses, they'll kind of find out why we're practicing fighting each other. Um, so it's really, something cool to note is that um, Isaias, he's a high school wrestler. <laughs> and you'll notice that he <laughs> employs a lot of throwing moves in his playing style. And the truth be told, you know, to the, how he is in reality. But yeah, there you go. I win this match. And we're gonna go start our next stage, which is the Barbarian War. After the girls, man. And yeah, it's just simply, 
is just simply yeah. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> the background is very crazy in this stage with all the, this is like thousands of thousands of soldiers just coming in and fighting and marching and <laughs> look at all those arrows just going like crazy. I here I find a new weapon. I find like this sort of axe weapon. Uh, weapons tend to be random drops in this game. I, I, I only played through this game twice. Uh, I really don't know all the mechanics all that well. But yeah, I'll probably bring I'll probably be bringing you a lot of beat 'em up games in the in the following months. Um, me and the guys where we recorded this game, and we're probably going to be recording games like Scott Pilgrim, um, X Men: The Arcade Edition, and a couple of the beat 'em up games that I have on my on my on my Xbox. So. Yeah, watch out for those in the future. Some um, something to note. Oh, so as soon as you level up to your first level, you'll immediately get the bow and arrow. And I've never been a big fan of the bow and arrow because I, I never really know how it was to upgrade. I usually take a my build usually is a, a health and and melee strength build. So I really don't know what else. I mean, how how arrows if they're really good or not. But if you play multiplayer mode and you play arena mode, uh, there's this one, there's, I think there's this mode called Quick Shot where you're, you just only fight with arrows and you realize, wow, how powerful arrows can be once you're fully leveled up. So maybe if I play again this game in the future, I'll I'll either take a, uh, a magic build or, a, or an arrow build. Oh yeah, I haven't even started talking about those. Oh, so wait, we here we, we find our first mid boss, which is... Um, a battering ram ca uh, tank for some sorts, and so yeah. First here, all you'll notice that what I'm doing is I'm kind of like just simply juggling in the air and hitting the monster, and pretty much doing all the work myself alone. So this is the uh, Castle Crashers. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or if it's intentional how they coded that, but you can yeah you can just simply you you jump and you just simply pr press strong attack. And he just simply keeps you in the air, and there we go. That, that was quick work of that boss. But once you jump on enemies and you just simply start hitting the strong attack, that's it. Uh, you just simply can keep juggling people in the air and keep hitting them. Or at least I usually I just jump in with a strong attack and then just simply keep hitting them in the middle of the air with a weak attack. Um, so uh, let me explain this. Yeah, I haven't explained this yet, but all your characters they have three types of attacks. They have a melee attack, they have a magical attack, and they have a and now, like a, a long-range arrow-like attack, and all these, and, and all these, at least the magical attacks, they vary from character to character. As in, because every single character has a theme. Like for example, yellow is fire, red is lightning, green is acid, and blue is ice. So at least the the magical magical attacks, as far as they're concerned, they have, they have um, they have different, yeah. They they all they're theme based. For the arrows, I'm not sure. I I haven't played with any other characters except the four main ones. And the the trick for at least for for quick leveling up and keeping your health high is to juggle enemies. What you usually do is just simply jump in, hit Y, and then just simply keep as you as you fall down, just hit the weak button. The, the weak attack, Y is for strong attack, and X is for weak attack. And I'm guessing it, it would be triangle for strong attack on the PlayStation, and square for for the weak attack. But that's pretty much how you just simply you just beast everything. You just, just starting with a high attack, with strong attack, juggle them in the air, and just keep hitting them with weak. As you'll notice, um, I'm, I'm me and Isaias right now are the... Or wait, me and Misael, I think. Oh, wait, wait, what's going on? Oh my god, look at this guy. This guy is huge. Now nah, let's take care of me. But yeah, for this guy what you need to take care of is yeah, those two attacks right there. Um he has well he has more attacks, but uh that that you can block you simply hold left trigger or L1 probably for blocking and you can block that attack just fine. But um but yeah, for that one, you need to kind of like yeah, exactly as you'll see the, the joystick animation there. You kind of need to press back and forward in order to protect yourself from that. But okay, there you go. So you cannot. That's I think that's unblockable. That's okay. So here, when he drinks the beer or poison or whatever he is, is drinking, he, you might yeah, just get out of his way because I, he'll just simply hit you for a lot of damage. So yeah, let's see how we handle this guy. 
if you're playing a multiplayer game, you might want to tell a couple of your, of your friends to focus on the minions while everybody else is um is focusing on the boss. And as you'll see here, I, uh, Isaias or Beast, the the Green Knight, he collapsed, and you see kind of see like the Y button on top of it. And or, or I just lost my all my little health there, and you'll see that the potion automatically activated. Isaias didn't have a potion, so he needs to be revived with CPR. And the in order to revive people with the CPR there's two ways you can do it you can just simply get on top of them and just mash the the, the strong attack button and they'll you know you'll revive them with very little health but they'll be back and to just can resume stomping the enemies but there's another way you can do this you'll notice that there's this scrolling bar that would go from left to right left to right and when it hits when it's on the bar is on top of a heart that's in the middle of the of the meter if you hit your strong, you hit your strong button attack every single time the bar is at the top of the meter. You can revive your uh, your friend for Mac with maximum health. It'll take you a couple of seconds, but that's yeah, that's how it's done. And we defeated the boss, and now a lot of treasure. And let's see who's the greediest. Yeah, <laughs> I think I was the greediest. I think I got the the most money. And now we fight for the maiden's love. And that's why we we kind of like took them to Arena earlier. And let's see who's gonna win. Jose and Misael are duking it out, but I yeah, there you go. I handle it. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's that's the the that's the main trick. Just juggle them in the air with a strong at and there you go, and just keep going like that. It's the, probably the the easiest route or the easiest way to do this. I'm trying to see if I can land a hit in the air with an arrow, but I, I couldn't. It's kind of hard to net, to land those. Come on. I got you. See? Oh, there you go. So that's him. That's it. Good thing I blocked there. And I get the Maiden's Kiss. Yes. So, um, Isaias led the pack with 16 kills. I got the most money, 69. And I got the most experience with 330. Uh, in this case, you get experience by hitting the enemies, not necessarily by by killing them or defeating them. And here, I, some, I something that I decided to leave in the game is how you so you can see how we all build our characters as we go through this. And for some reason, I remember that I took a long time before I started assigning my points. But you'll see that you have four fields here. You have strength, um, like explosion. That's a magic explosion. The shield is for health, and the little bunny is for speed and archery. And I like to make my builds based on on health and melee, because I, I particularly really find that to be the quickest way to dish out damage. And Misael, he doesn't really know what to do, but I believe he decides on a 50-50 yeah, strength and defense build. Oh no, he did not. He decided to go with magic and defense. Isaias, let's see. He let's see what he went with. He decided to go with a strength and def defense build. And Jose, Jose is a big fan of the magical attacks in this game. So first off, if we want to cross the ocean, we'll find these three guys, and they tell us that they need three items. They need uh yeah a compass a telescope and what do you call those the 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 steering wheel of the ship i don't know how you call those in english but yeah next time we'll go tackle next stage god bless guys bye